Hi folks, Desert Artist here. Uh, I know I've had some uh, some calls for uh, some instructional video on uh, how I make my loincloth. Um, it's my own kind of design. I have an alternate design here from a Native American, uh, my chief, that uh, gave me his loincloth before he passed away. Um, along with his, that was kind of the suit I got married in. But long story short, this is the uh, traditional Native American loincloth. Uh, it's generally just a long piece of leather, uh, or two pieces of leather, that are uh, sewn together in the center. Uh, the interesting thing that I've noticed about this, because it's a classical piece, um, that it's sewn with more of a spiral stitch. I don't know if you can quite see it here. But uh, sewn with a spiral stitch, it gives it uh, some elasticity uh, it can stretch. Um, one of the things that I generally do with a lot of my uh, sewing and craft work and stuff is I use a, a flat stitch that uh, generally won't stretch. I use that like around the arms or down the sides. Um, I have not yet experienced played with the baseball stitch yet. But first thing I'm going to show you today is uh, how to make a cock bag uh, for the loincloth. That thing right there. Now this is the general shape of it, right? Which is uh, just like that, about as big as your hand. You know, they're gonna give you an idea of the uh, the size that you want to get. You know, I mean, pretty much cup, and you can kind of get get an idea. Um, but you want to make sure that on that point right there on that corner on the front, you want to have a, a 90 degree um, because they want you want your from this point here, which is going to be the the outside right you want it to be as snug as possible around your nuts um, specifically because when you're walking the breeze kind of blows and sometimes people get a and if you're kind of slacky on here along when my my first uh, loin cloths were uh, a little bit more curved than this thinking that it had to be curved but the nice thing about leathers it stretches um, but the important thing is when you cut out your second piece, you want it to be an identical piece of this. And you want it to be symmetrical. So what you do is you take this, and instead of being uh, smooth side up and smooth side up, you put uh, smooth side and smooth side together. Okay, so you want them to uh, basically be a mirror, a mirror image of uh, what they are. You can see I kind of got it outlined already, so it makes it easier for me to cut out. Now if I lay this down here, you lay it down on here and you trace it out with a fancy schmancy pencil here. And uh, once you get it kind of traced out, you don't need a real traced out real good, but uh, just to get a basic idea. Um, so you just kind of uh, cut this out here. And you see I, I use just a pretty much scrappy piece of leather. Um, I don't need anything real special for a cock bag. They're they're pretty they're pretty small. Scrap leather works just fine. Um, even getting it similar in shape to the one that you draw is is okay. Now there's another trick here that I do down towards the end here. Is that now that I've got the basic shape cut out right here. Now, down here on the bottom, where that little part is, you want to make sure that you cut it out fairly wide, okay? So you cut it all about, you know, about half an inch or so, and you cut it down long enough that you'd think that you would need for your butt floss. Yes, butt floss. Um, I like butt floss better than, than, uh, than just a regular ones that they have. Um, strictly because it's more comfortable. Uh, now, another trick. You want, like I said, you want to make sure that you cut this wide enough that you can split it into two pieces. Okay? That's another secret. Now, once you get this down where you split it into two pieces, then you take the other piece and you rope braid it. And I'll show you how to do a rope braid and, 
in another video. But this kind of gives you an idea. Now, now I've got those two pieces there. I do the same on this one here. Split it in two. And then I have four strands for a four strand rope braid. Which makes for, you know, nice butt floss. It, uh, not too thin, not too thick. You know, you don't want a two by four in your ass. Um, you want to uh, keep it, you know, fairly nominal. Unless you enjoy that sort of thing. Now, now that we've completed that, now's the time to punch our holes. And what I like to use for my hole punch is uh, this is an ice pick that I shave down the sides to get it nice and pointy on the ends. All right, and flat. So when I go to punch my holes, I punch six holes at a time, and they're all in a straight line, which makes it nice and quick for when you're sewing stuff together. And sometimes when you get a, a big long strip of six here that can't go around the corner, you only use three. Maintain your, your same your same distances apart for your stitches while going around the corner and it not being problematic. You want to make sure that you put the first the first uh, tine into the last tine where the hole was at so you can maintain your separation. Now you can see I've stitched punched holes all the way around there now I know that they're all the same distance apart so I do the the same thing on this one because I know it's basically the same size because it's the same size it'll be stitched together appropriately Now, I have the two cock bags cut out, ready to be sewn together. Hi guys, I'm back again. I got the cock bag sewed together, and uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to uh, show you how to do a four strand rope braid. Uh, not a lot of people know how to do this. Some people do, some people don't. I'm gonna do it because, well, it's something that needs to be shown on how to do it. So let me try to set this camera up here where I can swing it around and set it up on my foot or something here so y'all can see how it's done. Try to get comfortable here. Now, I'll probably zoom in on this a little bit. Now, you notice you got the four strings here, right? Okay, so you got the four strings. Now you fold one over the other, the two center ones, you set them across, okay? Now you wanna have this string here come in between these two strings and over the top of this one here, okay? So, we take the string here. We wanna make sure that we roll it to keep the, the skin side on the outside. All right, 
so we have that okay now we take this one over here and we roll it across the front like that as you can see we've got our one two three four pattern right there okay so which means a one two three four okay so we take our number one we go between our two and four and come back around do the same thing remember just go between the uh, the strings there just like that and uh, next thing you know you will uh, have a rope break just remember to keep rolling the leather all the way around and uh, once you roll the leather around like that and you get it to a certain length a decent length that you want to uh, that you want to play with then uh, you end it off by uh, tying a half hitch in there and uh, everything should come out perfect now you don't have to do this too tight don't have to do it too loose but because uh, at the end you can always uh, you can always uh, roll it around in your hands and it'll kind of stretch it out and play with it a little bit and it will uh, it will even up and what I like to do is when I get down towards the end here I uh, like to find the long one whichever it is uh, it appears to be this one here and then I get down to where it's in the uh, the number one position or uh, from there it looks like it's a number two position so I'll go one more down here move it up to the number one position now a half hitch is basically just going around like this up over the top right up over the top like that then uh, tighten it up and pull it down and there you have your butt floss so now we have a completed cock bag right and your butt floss now if you make your cock bag too small you can always sew a football in right in here okay now by sewing a football in that obviously it'll give you uh, more uh, playroom uh, for a place where you could put your cell phone or a little bag of change maybe some cash anyhow I thought uh, you all might like to see how that rope braid was done it's uh pretty simple and it's a pretty valuable piece of uh, knowledge uh, for those of you who don't know how to do it if you need me to do um, a little bit better explanation or a little bit better view I don't know how well the view was on here and how well you all can interpret it but I uh, try to do my best and uh, give me a comment or something if y'all want Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. I thought I'd uh, finish up and uh, show you how to finish up making the, the loincloth, tying up the cock bag to the, uh, to the front loincloth and uh, tying the butt floss up to the back with uh, just a little bit of lace. Um, first off, I need to refresh everybody on uh, the stuff that we did and the reason why. Now this is the basic shape of the cock bag here okay now this is about from the center point here down to about the butt floss is about the length of my thumb and forefinger now that can vary depending on the size of the person obviously and you can judge that well you know how to judge that and the reason why we did this basic shape and remember I stressed it was important that we have this 90 degree angle here the reason why we want that 90 degree angle here is so that when we put it here in the front that we can adjust the tension that it is down here 
the more that we can adjust the tension is down here the better cupping action that we can have we want cupping action and as I said earlier um, if you need this to be larger at all you can sew in a dart inside here it looks kind of like a, uh, a football and you can kind of visualize that if you're artistic enough to make a freaking loincloth you can visualize it now back to the point of the loincloth I have two pieces here this is going to be the front piece here and you see it's got a nice little doohickey there in the front I like to use I like to use the shoulders and stuff for that area they got nice they're just better pieces um, we got that little piece there in the front and this little piece here uh, for the back I've uh, already as you can see I've cut the holes up here in the top I've stamped the holes you can see them right there and up on the top and the reason why I did that so when we fold it over we have a little pocket here where we can slide our belt through using the same four strand braiding technique that I told you with the butt floss just make it really long now what I've done is I've put four holes through here um, and I've tied the back here so when we sew the butt floss to the front flap we know what the hell we're doing as you can see I've already punched the holes for that as well along there and along the top now the way that we figure out how where the center is at because that's basically all we need to know is where the center is at because where the center is the center is the center is the center fold it in half now remember we want that cupping action and we know that with their handy dandy uh, hole punch here it's same width across snazzy huh so all we have to do is fold it in half punch it once and then sew it on we're ready to go now remember we want to have that little that V action going on so we can have proper cupping up in here so being as we know we need that then we just do it ain't no question who what where when why how measuring distance you fold it in half you bring it down here and you end up losing your hammer okay I can spare remember we want it down in the middle up on the sides run it up to the center point punch our holes in and we're ready to go now we just sew these to those holes run this up to the little doohickey on the back flop and I'll put this together and I'll show you what it looks like hey folks desert artist here here we are at the final stage, finally. We're at the final stage of 
completing the loincloth. Now I've done a little couple extra things to my cock bag. Um, first one I put this little handy little little braid there. I call that a wallet stitch. I also did it around the edge because well remember I stressed cupping how we want cuppage. <laughs> this is the reason why. This here, this braid, provides uh, an elastic effect. Or just a little stretching in there that that accommodates nicely for, well, <laughs> cupping. Now, what I've done, besides the cool little stitching on the side, you can see the same pattern. The butt floss here, right? All I did was stitch it to the front, front flap. I stitched it to the front, right there, just like that. There's the braid on the on the inside there. Okay. Then for the back, how I attached the butt floss to the rear flap was like a one of those Chinese finger traps you know that you get your fingers stuck in and yeah one of those and what that does that provides for ease of of uh, sliding if you need to adjust it for length so anyway and on the back I just uh, tie up the square knot on the back and tie it on the sides with a square knot and voila you have a loincloth just like mine you too can have a loincloth just like mine hey you all have a great day be creative be safe. Be observant.